Hey, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at Rails' flash messages, how they work, and what changed since Hotwire became available. If you've ever used Rails for at least 10 minutes, you've probably used flash messages as well. They are the mechanism used to let the user know what happened with his previous request, like when the user submits a form to create a new resource. There is usually a banner at the top of the page that displays the flash message, and I'm sure you've seen it a million times by now. And the way flash messages work is they allow you to pass data between controller actions. If all that sounds too confusing and you want to learn Ruby on Rails from scratch, I'm making a new course that will teach you everything you need to know, so check out this link here. Now let's take a quick look at the three most common methods for setting flash messages inside of a Rails controller action. Flashes have their own type, but they behave like a hash for the most part. So you can set any flash key if you want to, but the convention is to use the notice and alert keys. And because it's a convention, Rails makes your life easier by providing some support in a few different ways. The first one is you can provide one of them or both if you really want to as an argument to the redirect to method. So if we take a look at the generated Rails controller, this is how the redirect looks like. You'll see that it accepts a notice argument at the end, which sets the notice key in the flash hash. So it's a nice little helper that makes your controller code smaller. Another option would be to assign the flash message on a separate line, and you might want to do that to shorten the line width, or if you want to set a different key for the flash. Because with the arguments to the redirect to method, you can only set the notice and alert as keys. But if you assign the value on a separate line, you can add any keys you want to it. So for example, if we add a different key to the flash just before we do the redirect and then look at the flash hash in the browser, we'll see that both keys are in there. But if we try the same thing with the redirect to method, only the notice key will be accepted. The other one will be discarded. Okay, so now we have a flash message set for the next action because this is a redirect. But what if we don't want to redirect? What if we just want to render the template? So let's set the notice flash inside the show action to something we can see on the page. And then let's look at a post. You'll see that the notice flash is right there. And if we click the back to post button, the notice flash is still there. Because the flash set that way will always exist for the next action. And in this case, the second action was the post index. We can confirm that by reloading this index page, which will be the third request and thus clearing the flash. And it does go away. There may be cases where setting a flash and not doing a redirect would be a perfectly valid thing to do. And you can totally do that. There is another way of setting a value in the flash, and that is by using the flash.now method. The difference is that the flash.now works for the current request, so it will be cleared in the second one. Let's try it with the show action. I'm going to change the flash line to use the now method instead. And if I click the show post button, we can see that the flash is right there. But if I go to the next page by clicking the back to post button, the flash is gone. So that's nice. And there is one more case I want to show you. Sometimes you want to keep the message around for more than just the first redirect. From the first action to the second one, and then from the second action to the third. This happens rarely, but it does. And it's good to know that Rails has your back if you ever need it to. So if we go back to our example here, and instead of setting the flash message inside a show action, we'll set it in the create action. That will be our entry point, and then the create action redirects to the show action, which should display the flash. But then when we click the back to post button, the flash is gone, and we want to keep it around for that second request. So how do we do that? We can use the flash.keep method inside the show action to tell Rails we want to keep the flash around for the next action. So let's add the flash keep method and try it again. This time, when we click the back to post button, the flash message is still there. It only goes away on the next request. So this is what happens without any of the hotwire stuff. But now let's add some hotwire to the mix and see how the flash messages work. I'm going to take the destroy action as an example, but the same applies to any other action. First, I want to move out the flash from the template to make it reusable. Second, I'm going to add a third format to the destroy action for handling the turbo stream request, and I'm going to render a turbo stream template. 
I'm also going to set the flash message again, but this time I'm going to use that flash.now method because we're not redirecting to another action. And inside the Turbo Stream template, we'll render a message and add the back to post button. Then we're going to update the flash. And because we've extracted it out, we can render the flash partial and update the notice ID. Finally, let's make the flash message go away after a few seconds by adding a touch of stimulus.js. We'll generate a new stimulus controller, and I'm going to connect it to my flash message by adding the data controller attribute to the flash. Inside the stimulus controller's connect method, which runs when the stimulus controller is connected to the DOM element, we can add an animation to the flash to make it more interesting. And then after a few seconds, we're going to make it disappear. But to do that, I need to first get the animate CSS library and add it to my style shoots folder so that the asset pipeline can pick it up. And now let's test this out. When I create a new post, you can see that the flash message is animating and then disappearing. And the same happens if I delete the record. That looks much better. I hope you found this video useful. And if you want to learn more about Hotwire, check out my Hotwire playlist, which I've linked in the description below. Bye.